Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Put your robo here. Sprite Castle. Hello, welcome to Sprite Castle. My name is Rob Flack O'Hara, and uh, on this show, we play Commodore games, except for when we don't. Sometimes we don't play Commodore games. Sometimes we play uh, arcade games. Sometimes I pick my nose <laughs> on camera. <laughs> I do lots of things on this show. Howdy to everybody that's uh, showed up. I see Eric Einstein. That is a smart sounding dude right there. And, you know, sometimes uh, we get the uh, uh, robot doctor and uh, sometimes we get to uh, we get robot doctors. And now we got Einstein in the house and we have a wizard and we have splay feet. And, of course, we have the one and only uh, Steel Rat 405. You know, what's weird is... Um, when I go to users, it says Steel Rat 666, but when I go to the chat, it says Steel Rat 405. It's a miracle. It's a crazy, crazy miracle. Hope everybody is having a uh, good week so far. Um, my wife is in Washington, D.C. right now. This is her first work trip in uh, about, well, since March of 2020 is when we got shut down. Uh, from traveling for work and doing work stuff and we've been working from home ever since so uh, she said she was in a restaurant tonight hey lord soup what's going on um well still rat i don't know that it'll be for long to be honest with you because uh <clears throat> while she was in the restaurant uh people came in and they started removing half the tables from the restaurant um, it sounds like, uh, they're going to be making some changes in DC, uh, which is the main place that she travels for work. So, uh, I think, um, we, uh, may not be, uh, traveling for work. And in fact, I got a call today from my supervisor with a list of survey questions and um, one of the questions was, how many days were you going into the office versus working from home before COVID started? And the next question was, how many days do you plan to go into the office <laughs> uh, versus work from home when uh, they open things back up? And the final question was, uh, would you rather share a cubicle with somebody, do time sharing, uh, of a workspace, or would you rather work from home full time? <laughs> so uh, it sounds like changes are afoot uh, at work. So we will see. Uh, Wizard says uh, his wife thanks us as he pulled the trigger on an Ender Three version two. Picked it up while they were on vacation. He hasn't built it yet. He's waiting for a beefier plate springs and feed tubes. Um, so uh, there you go. There is another 3D printer owner up in this place right now. I got to, I don't know, my printer does okay. I got to um, get the dust off it and, and start printing some stuff. You know, I printed a, um, I showed it last week uh, when we were looking at pictures, but I printed a hook uh, that fits my desk for my headphones and they sit over there. But I have two sets of headphones that I alternate between. And so um, one's Bluetooth and one's, USB, so I need to get a um, a second set of headphones. Uh, some of the uh, people in here I saw on Saturday during the Amigathon stream. So the Amigos streamed for twelve hours. They streamed from seven a.m. to seven p.m. Uh, Aaron and Boat, and they had several guests. They had the Brent, uh, which is Aaron's brother from ARG Presents. Um, the final total was, um, I think just over 7,200. So, um, the, uh, um, uh, the, the original goal was $5,000 that they are arranging for the Ch children's miracle network hospitals. Uh, and they had hit that before it ever got turned over to my stream. Uh, when it got to me, they were already, uh, they had set a second goal of $6,000, and uh, they 
had hit that. They were at 6,100 when it got to me, and then it was right at 6,600 or a little bit more than that uh, when we transferred off. So, um, of course, I didn't expect to raise as much money because they'd already been streaming for 12 hours, so a lot of people had already got in there. Um, but uh, we did give away some some prizes. I see Zerfall in the chat. I believe Zerfall won the uh, Wi-Fi modem that was donated from Retro Rewind. And um, uh, who was it? Buck Owens, uh, I believe, won the uh, C64 Fastlo cartridge. And Beachbum7, uh, who comes into the, the chat sometimes. I don't see him in here right now. Uh, but he, uh, oh, hey, there's Buck Owens. Uh, yeah, that fast load cartridge is is uh, super good. Um, you know, that was one that Retro Rewind sent me, and I tested it out for a day or two, and I really considered, no, 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 you got the donated one. Yeah, okay, I do still have mine, because that's what I was going to do anyway. I was like, I'm keeping that. And then uh, I used, um, so Retro Rewind has been sponsoring the show, and uh, so he he sends me a little bit of money, each month to sponsor the show and then i turn around the money and i send it back to them and i bought one of these so this is not for a giveaway this is something i'm keeping but this is the kung fu flash cartridge now traditionally these have only been pal uh but the new uh, beta firmware and what i've been waiting for is ntsc um so uh this has um of course reset uh button it has a special button so for any type of uh flash cart like super snapshot or uh, any any uh, uh ice pick any cartridge that had a button or a switch or whatever you can program it to use that um but um there's also a menu button here the real takeaway though is that in the end there is a, a micro sd card so this is supposed to basically kind of be like a sd uh, IEC solution, uh, kind of a, uh, I would say a poor man's ultimate uh, 1541 or a ultimate uh, 1541U, whatever. Um, so I don't, I can't really talk too much about it because it literally came in the mail today. I just opened it and have it sitting here. So I haven't got to uh, run it through its paces yet. But uh, this was uh, with shipping. 80 ish a little under 80 you know if you use sprite castle when you check out you get that 10 percent discount so um that really helped with the it cut off a lot of the shipping so uh yeah i'm excited to give this a try i i um you know i love the 1541 ultimate i love the ultimate 64 but that stuff's expensive so if you're not um you know, super into uh, Commodore stuff and you don't want to invest all that. But if you, you just have a 64 and you're like, man, I I don't have a disk drive. I don't want to do, um, uh, you know, mess with that or making floppies. And I don't want to, you know, spend a hundred and something or whatever. Then this is probably a, a pretty good solution. So there's something, uh, oh, the uh, screw is loose on the back here. I'm going to tighten that up. But uh uh, anyway, so, yep, I am uh, excited to try that out. So, um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, Steel Rat closed their local office. Um, the um, I don't know what we're going to do. I, I think what we're going to do is um, kind of be in a, a mode where people who... Uh, have to go in and physically touch stuff will go in or people who um you know working from home uh is kind of a privilege versus a requirement i mean it's a requirement right now but there's some people that just either don't do well doing it you know so uh we'll we'll see what goes on now i have got oh i'm in the wrong folder uh games c64 let's get this first one started here and we're gonna start i've got two different games but then we've got multiple versions of those games uh and as you can uh, see i was gonna say as you can see but you can't see it because uh i haven't flipped over there uh tonight we're going to be playing commando and who dares wins which i always thought was a grammatically a strange uh way to say that who dares wins um if it's uh 
Uh, I, I always thought um, uh, it should have been like um, who dares to win <laughs> or even who dares win, um, but not who dares wins without a comma in there. But uh, when I was a kid, I didn't know that there was a movie uh, called Who Dares Wins uh, or a TV show. Uh, and then I guess they remade the uh, – uh, I'm not really sure, but Who Dares Wins was a TV series that was on from in the 80s. Um, and then it looks like it was on again in the 90s. Just kind of glance in here. So, um, but uh, anyway, that was uh, this is uh, Who Dares Wins, the first one. Now the second one was the one that I uh, uh played more. Um. Hey, Darren Folds. What's up? See you uh, popping in here. Boy, I'm, I'm behind on my chat. Hang on here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, you know, working from home, you got to, you got to, you got to compartmentalize. You got to say, this is my work area. This is my home area. You know, it doesn't work if you're watching little kids. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't work. Um, uh, I'm so used to it now that I can kind of multitask and you could do, you could get away with little stuff. You can, you know, start something at work and then run and put in a load of dishes or, or things like that. But, uh, um, it's easy to get sidetracked, you know? So, um, uh, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, of course, Darren says, uh, he likes to program on the C64 but not in a dev environment when you use disk images. He prefers D81. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people do like D71, D81. Uh, and the um, the new firmware for the Ultimate uh, 64 now supports uh, D71 and D81. So that's, and that just came out uh, this week. Um, you Scrooge said, asks if I'm currently running a BBS. No, not running a BBS anymore. Um, I had, uh, one that I was running, um, I was running mystic, I guess is a BBS software that runs on Linux. I was running it off a of raspberry Pi and I set it up just to have a little dedicated image. And, uh, it was, um, uh, it, you know, it was a struggle to get people to call it, especially, you know, it, it's difficult to, um, it's let me get my sounds here. Yeah, looks like it might be just a tad bit low. Does that sound all right? It might be a little bit low. Yeah, my uh, separation from work is. It can get you in trouble if you got your toys too close to your work stuff. I'm, I'm thinking about actually moving my work stuff either further away or in another room just to, um, just for my own personal benefit. You know what I mean? Well, that was a gold water. Um, Wizard says, with the Wi-Fi modem from Retro Rewind, does it behave just like you had a 300 or 1200 baud modem? Um, so yes, uh, but no, <laughs> uh, first of all, I believe by default, it comes set at 2,400 baud or yeah, but it will go all the way up to 9,600 baud. Um, that's what most of the software and stuff is set at. But basically what you're doing is, um, okay. So if you think about the, um, uh, old ways, who's that? Chris Albright. I know Chris Albright's in here. If I see cheers coming up what's going on chris um so basically think about an old bbs so you had your your commodore or whatever your pc home computer was on one side and on the other side you had a bbs so it was sitting here waiting for you to call and hooked up to a modem hooked up to a phone line and the phone lines go all the way across town and over here is your computer with your modem and so you dialed up with your turn program over the phone line and then it accepted and then you talked to the BBS, right? Okay. So, uh, the modern BBS is similar, except for that piece in the middle is the internet. And so instead of a modem, 
uh, and, and actual analog phone lines, you're basically doing telnet. Uh, so this, whatever this BBS is on this side, uh, is running into a microphone. Uh, so this computer on this side, you know, is basically running a BBS, but instead of waiting for an analog phone to ring, it's waiting for a telnet connection. And on your side over here, you have tricked your, uh, computer or whatever. You could do it from your regular PC. They have, um, term programs that do this. Um, you can just do it from a command line like normal old school telnet, but you're not going to get all the special graphics and things like that that you would get if you use a term program. So um, so you want to get a term program, but instead of using a modem, it's literally tricking it to, instead of calling a phone number, it's calling an IP address. So all the stuff in the middle is different, but who cares about the stuff in the middle? The experience is the same. You connect to the BBS and and you get in and, and there you go. So what the Wi-Fi modem does is it's just talking to your Wi-Fi router in your house. So you don't have to, uh, you know, even if you had like some sort of modem that used Ethernet, you wouldn't have to run Ethernet all the way to wherever your computer is. So it's talking to your Wi-Fi router and then you're connecting in. So um, now the Mr. supports, it emulates... Um, the uh, uh, that that stack so you can do it from the mister uh, you can do it um, I don't know if you can do it from inside uh, a vice or one of the emulators but there's definitely Commodore term programs this music started me crazy we gotta start this game um, but um, uh, so there's different ways to do it but uh, uh, tell you what man there is nothing more uh, authentic feeling than being on a physical Commodore 64 keyboard and connected to a BBS and seeing words scroll across at a slow pace again like that. It really takes you back. If you were a, um, uh, yeah, if you've already got your, uh, 64 or something like that, then, um, uh, yeah, the retro rewind is the way to go. All right, so this is uh, the first Who Dares Wins. And if you look at the uh, layout of this uh, level right here, you will see that it looks very similar to Commando. Uh, and so uh, this game uh, obviously is uh, uh, a uh, is rip off the right word. I don't know. Uh, you can, just like Commando, um, shoot uh, or throw grenades. And the way that they've handled that in this is if you tap the button, you're shooting. And if you're holding down the button, uh, you are throwing grenades. Ooh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Get me some more grenades here. I'm trying to hide behind that rock. Like, how come they can hide behind the rock, but I can't? I'm making a run up the side. I didn't quite make it there. Oh, I go all the way back to the beginning. That's cute. Uh, you Scrooge says, is there anything, any reason why the uh, ANSI thing behind me, the ANSI artwork, uh, Pi Ants, is set to 2400 baud? And it is because uh, I, that's what I'm nostalgic for. So it, to me, it is simulating uh, watching those old school graphics come across a phone line you can set it to 9600 i think you can set it all the way up to 192 uh but then i mean at that speed you know you're just am i out of grenades yes i'm out of grenades look what you did chris albright you made me use all my grenades um you know at that at that point uh i don't know why i blame that on chris albright <laughs> i also like how these rocks look like big uh gumdrops here uh doesn't seem to be great. Am I out of bullets, too? Oh, there's some bullets. I don't know what's going on there. I moved my... Uh, where this is plugged... My USB joystick is plugged in. And... Uh, <laughs> I didn't do a good job. You know, I had to tear apart my studio. Tear apart a big chunk of where everything sits uh, for the Amigathon stream to work. Uh, so that um, Jeff and I, so I could get two people where there's normally one person. And uh, I'm just in the middle of uh, putting it back 
together and it's and things aren't quite right. You know what? You know, you put everything back and you go, well, that's where this was. That's where this was. And then you, you go, huh, this don't feel quite right. Oh, that guy shot me good. So, yeah, the uh, uh, that is the reason, the whole reason why the antsy thing. Is the same guy going to shoot me? Oh, there's a guy right there. That's why. All right, we're going to grenade this guy. I do like the way that these guys die. They kind of just spin on one foot like that, you know. <clears throat> yeah, so you could, you know, you could set that thing. It's literally a command line variable to uh, uh, set the uh, the speed on on the uh, pi ant, so you could speed it up if you wanted. But uh, I like uh, just that kind of slow scrolling, and and there's also kind of that anticipation where you go. Oh, huh, what's that going to be? What's it drawing? You know, that sort of thing. So, uh, but yeah, you can set it. Actually, you could set it where it would be. Uh, oh, also the other thing is because, you know, some of the drawings are just uh, so big. I mean, many, many screens, right? And so uh, I, I'm not always just, oh, got me in the gullet. Uh, I'm not always just staring at it. Like sometimes I just walk into the room or something. And so if it was going fast, you know, I think you'd miss a lot of it, so that's that's kind of why that was the reasoning behind it. I wish that I didn't always throw two or three grenades when I mean to throw one. Who dares throw grenades? Me. Who dares throws too many grenades? Also me. Alright, how am I going to get through this? Oh, no, that didn't work. So the, uh, oh, uh, your uh, wizard's wife liked the uh, tuxedo shirt. That is literally, um, I have a, a co-worker of mine and I, uh, somehow when we go to lunch, we always get stuff on our shirts. And so it's kind of become a, a running joke, you know. And so my wife bought uh, both of us uh, those uh, tuxedo bibs. <laughs> And uh, I haven't had the courage to um, to use it in a actual restaurant yet, but uh, maybe one of these days I'll do it. You know, there's a uh, another thing. There was a, several years ago. Oh boy, that guy! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Oh, I was trying to run in between those. I guess you. I mean, you shouldn't have to kill every one of those with a grenade, but maybe I do. I don't know. Um, I saw a, a late night. Uh -oh. Uh, TV ad for this thing called a Nork, um, which is uh, a heavy duty fork that the edges are almost uh, come to a point, so it's also like a knife. And on the TV commercial, they were like, Does this ever happen to you? And then the guy's having trouble using a knife and a fork, you know. <laughs> and, um, uh, and then it's like, if you had a Nork, and then the guy cuts through his steak with all the, this only thing. And I was like, I want a Nork. You know, my wife's like, I'm not buying you a Nork. I was like, I need a Nork, you know. So uh, you can only buy him in a set of four. And so she bought me, this is like five years ago, maybe six or seven years ago, bought me uh, a set of Norks for my birthday. Uh, and um, they're not cheap. I mean, because they're super thick metal, you know. I mean, I, when I say not cheap, I'm sure it was $20 or something for four. Uh, and for my birthday, we went out to lunch to um, Saltgrass, which is a steak place um, comparable with Outback. And uh, I brought my Nork with me. And so, you know, they were like, oh, you know, here's your silverware. And I was like, and then they left it. I was like, no, no, my good man, I won't be needing that. I've got my Nork. And so I cut through the steak and I cut through everything. It was it was awesome. I loved it. I ate everything with the one utensil instead of two because it was just like the commercial. I was like, I can't be bothered with two utensils. And so um, then when the you know we were all done eating and the guy came and he picked it up. I was like, oh no no that's mine. And he was like, what do you mean that's yours? I was like, oh that's that's my Nork. I brought that. And he was like. You brought your own silverware? And I was like, yeah. I was like, there's all your silverware. I was like, that, that's mine. And I mean, I know he did not believe me. I know he was, uh, you know, sure that I was stealing the silverware <laughs> from the restaurant. But uh, what are you going to do? So that was the first and last time I ever took a Nork with me to a restaurant. But I use them around here all the time. And uh, what's funny is 
the uh, uh, in our our uh, utensil drawer in the kitchen. We've got one of those little plastic trays, you know, that has like two spots for forks, two spots for uh, spoons, and then there's one for like butter knives and one for sharp knives. But we just throw the sharp knives over to the side and then the bottom one where knives are supposed to go are my four norks. Um, And so, uh, and because you don't want to just get it like if you're having ramen noodles and you're like, it's it's like a waste. You're not going to cut ramen noodles with a knife. Why would you waste a nork? (sighs) So... It's um, it's uh, uh, good times. But anyway, what was funny with um, uh, you know, reorganizing, putting everything back is like, I put my desk over here back to where I thought it was, you know, and uh, but like now when I reach, it just feels like an inch further away than it used to be, and so I know that it's not exactly where it was. Also, my wife had a um, uh. Uh, a rug in her office and she said i don't want it anymore and i was like well i spilled kool-aid on mine on my floor so how about i take it and so i put it in here and i mean how thick is a rug a half an inch a quarter inch but now i feel like i'm sitting on top of a stepladder i mean i'm really only uh tidy up uh yeah you scrooge i would um uh i would definitely take the zip file of the more antsies and add them over to that uh, I don't know. I don't remember how many I have on mine, but uh, um, it, it's, uh, you know, I went through all these packs and stuff. And, and if I were to do it again, there's a lot of things like I've just got like some of the old file ID is like logo files and stuff. And, and they're, they're OK to look at, but they're not impressive from across the room. You know, you can't see them. All right. It looked like there was something dirty on the screen back there. I do need to. Um, uh, go through and scrub, uh, double check all of mine. Uh, uh, Wizard says that um, Jeff has much quicker reflexes for shoot 'em ups. That is 100% true. I've never been good at those games. My hand eye coordination, I cannot track the ships and me and the incoming bullets. I've never been able to do it, and he's always been able to do it. So, um, uh, the uh, uh, why well, I, I like how this cracking screen has uh, Ghostbusters and the uh, it's a very evil looking Slimer down there at the bottom. Um, hey, look, same music. Uh, Wizard, if you want to see somebody who can draw, uh, he's in the channel right now. Mr. Darren Folds. Uh, Darren did one of his Groot videos. Um, He does a YouTube channel about the comic book Groot. And on one, he said, I'm going to do three different versions of Groot. One would be in a Commodore Pet Pet ASCII uh, format. And one would be um, in this one resolution on the C64. And one would be another one. And as I and he does it, and I was like, all three of them are better than anything I've ever drawn on a computer in my whole life. It's it was amazing to watch. Uh, so go check out um, uh, Darren's uh, Groot Tube channel on YouTube, and if nothing else, you should definitely watch that episode and watch him draw those things. I'm very dehydrated today. I didn't drink anything but uh, coffee this morning. Uh, I, I, um, I'm working on an art project to uh, paint a skateboard and I've been, uh, uh, I, I, I could trace a picture and I can paint it or whatever, but I, you know, I watch all these YouTube videos and I was joking. I was showing some of them to, uh, steel rat when he was over and they'll give me these options. They'll say, or not options, but, um, uh, steps They like step one, sand it down. Step two, put on your base coat. And then. They always forget to mention the one step, like practice painting for 10 years and, and come, you know, come to the table with some talent. <laughs> they leave that step out. I'm good at all the other steps. I'm like, all right, I'm sanding it and I paint and I'm like, I guess, what do I draw on this? Like a stick man? Uh, 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 yes, it's um, uh, Groot Tube. You should be able to find it. Um, 
If Darren's still in here, he can give us the uh, exact link. Hey, 1010, what's going on? So, yeah, this is um, uh, this is Who Dares Wins 2, which is the sequel to Who Dares Wins 1, uh, which were both, uh, here we go, uh, Commando ripoffs. Now, this is actually the one that I grew up playing, and I, I recognize it immediately, even though it looks very similar to the other one. But instead of those little dumb uh, gumdrop bushes, uh, you've got uh, these trees everywhere. And you've got all these burnt out uh, buildings that all the guys are, are uh, hiding in and dropping out in and stuff like that. So it gives it uh, a little bit more of an isometric look. Uh, the controls... Uh, get you, buddy. Oh. Uh, controls are the same, which is, of course, just eight directions. Uh, and your fire button shoots your little pea shooter here. I'm trying to trick that guy into shooting. I'm just going to run past him. Oh. oh, there's a guy with a mortar launcher. That's good. Oh, he got me in the face. Stabbed me. Uh, this is not unlike Rambo. I mean, Rambo was a, a copy of uh, Commando, just like this was a copy of Commando. And we're going to be playing Commando next. You know what? I could throw Rambo in. Uh, Rambo, if I remember right, threw knives instead of shooting. But, uh, I mean, it was essentially, they're all the same game. Ugh. I went to, um... All right, let's try this. But, yeah, I definitely, um, uh, like, visually, as a kid... I remember uh, the, the buildings on the sides and those guys jumping down at the very beginning. So this is definitely uh, the one that I played as a kid. So just hold down the button just an extra second. Well, oh, I'm shooting my grenades off screen, which is not helping. If I remember right, it's not that hard to um, build up your... Uh, oh. It's easy to get caught in a crossfire when they layer these guys like that. The good news is that they kind of... They kind of um, stick to those eight directions, you know what I mean? So, uh, <clears throat> so if you come... Oh, look, there's a guy. He's, oh, he's, he just shot the prisoner. Oh, there's quicksand. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, I don't like that you start at the very beginning of the level each time. That's a little annoying. Do do do! Oh, that guy got me. Do 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 do! Yeah, this um, Who Dares Wins, especially Who Dares Wins Two, I think was was on uh, a few different systems. All right, let's take care of you, buddy. Hey, buddy, you want some? He didn't want any. He ran away. Oh, I need those grenades. Oh, oh. <laughs> -do -do. All right, let's hide over here. Whoa, those guys just jumped off. Did you see that? I'm kind of hiding around the corner here. Oh, oh. present for Mongo. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Oh, no, I don't want to be tricked. Oh, no, no, no. No. See, that guy almost tricked me to get those grenades. Okay, now, how can I tell there was quicksand in that one? I mean, can I go this way? I guess I can. All right. I don't know how. Oh, I tried to dodge the bullet. Oh. Uh, Wizard says, I think today's gamers are so spoiled with multiple saves and almost infinite lives back in the C64 days you played the crap out of one game and got better at it by brute force. Although when I revisit games I rocked at back in the 80s, I stink at them now. Slower reflexes. Well, that is true on uh, almost all counts. I will say that um, uh, a lot of these games ha also had cheats. 
uh, built in, you know. So, um, oh, the ground was moving where the uh, quicksand was. It was a dirty trick. Dirty, dirty trick. Uh, I'm going to play this one more time. The uh, Commando, uh, the arcade game. When I was a kid, uh, we had a thing where uh, you could sign up and uh, go on a school field trip to Washington, D.C., and it was a big deal. Um, I mean, I had to do like these fundraisers to save the money for it and stuff. Uh, I raised all this money. I believe it was six hundred dollars, five or six hundred dollars. I mean, it was a lot of money. I probably sold cheese or something. I don't know. I did a lot of stuff. I sold a lot of stuff, and uh, and then uh, uh, I got to go and. Um, it was the first time I'd ever been on an airplane. This was uh, seventh grade. And um, let's see. While, so while we were in DC, there was one, there was, you know, there was a lot of times where it was like, okay, we're going to do this. Uh, you know, we're going to go here. And then you have like an hour of free time or something. Or like, you know, we're going to the Smithsonian. And then we've got, okay, I'm looking. Oh, I see the quicksand. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, so that's. That's the only place that has it. Okay. Um, but one day we went to this mall, and I don't remember what the name of the mall was, but it was just somewhere in D.C. We went to a, a shopping mall. Like I think it was an opportunity where we could get uh, uh, souvenirs was the idea, right? And oh, 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 no. Almost got that was Snoopy and the Red Baron. I mean, this looks bad, folks. <laughs> Um, and so we went to this mall and there was a food court. Oh boy. So this is like the end level of commando. Oh boy. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. It's not good. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, 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 did you see? Oh, there's the red beret guy. Um, and so anyway, we were at the mall. Come on. Problem is, okay. Oh, look at that! Yes, uh, hey Ricky Derocher, what's up? Uh, yes, you do have grenades, and so uh, you launch your grenades by. Oh, that's how you get stabbed in the face. Um, oh, look, that. See that guy? He's gonna shoot my prisoner there. Oh, no, don't shoot my dude! Don't shoot my dude! Oh, I shot him. Uh, you hold the button down a little bit longer, and you throw your grenades. So I'm going to have to throw one at this dude at the wall anyway. Oh, no. No. Like that. Oh, threw two grenades. Just to be sure. I didn't want any lit from that dude. There's a train. Oh, there's a fence. Oh, boy. This is going to be tough. Oh. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, don't shoot. I'm trying to save my POW, dude. Oh, boy. You got to be fast. You got to be fast. You got to be not dead. You got to throw grenades. Oh, I'm out of grenades. Now I got no grenades. Oh, now. Oh, boy. Boom <laughs> shakalaka. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of these games have background music. Some of them don't. Um, you know, the... Uh, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go while this is running. And I'm going to see real quick if I can find Rambo. And if I can, we'll squeeze it in real quick. Oh, Rambo... I'm just wondering if there's, uh, I mean, there's Rambo, Rambo 2, Rambo 3. Let's see. All right. It might be Rambo First Blood Part 2. I don't know. We'll find out real quick. Because I also know there's a Rambo of, um, uh, uh, there's a Rambo text adventure, which is not uh, probably what we want to play on a stream. Oh, look at that. I think we hit it.
Yeah, the thing about a lot of these games is uh, there was stuff you were supposed to do that they uh, told you in the uh, instructions, but, you know, when you downloaded it, you didn't get the instructions. So, uh, so you just had to kind of wing it. And that's a fact jack. That's a fact jack. <laughs> I haven't watched uh, Stripes probably since the early 80s. But you know what I did watch today? The new Ghostbusters trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife. They released a new trailer uh, today, uh, or yesterday. And, uh... Um... Little loud. Little not loud enough. There we go. <clears throat> um, I like the trailer. Obviously, it's um, they're handing off the the ghost busting to a new. Uh, Sorry, I got lost in this music here. Um, new generation of Ghostbusters, you know what I mean? Um, what I thought was interesting is that it was uh, part of the premise of the trailer was it was in this sleepy town. It takes place in a sleepy town in Oklahoma, which I'm excited about. And... Um, uh, they said... They're detecting tremors, and they're like, but we're nowhere near a fault line. There can't be earthquakes here in Oklahoma. Um, but I suspect, uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I remember, the knives. This is much faster than Who Dares Wins. Ugh, come on, Rambo. Oh, boy. <laughs> that didn't go so well. I thought I was doing really good. <laughs> um, but, uh... The uh, thing about Oklahoma is, uh, for several years, we were um, number one in uh, the country for earthquakes uh, because uh, uh, of the drilling of the oil and the, and the fracking and the process and all that stuff. It, it sends these trimmers and stuff out like that, and uh, um, it, they drain the water out. I don't, I don't explain or understand all the details. All I know is that my uh, foundation at my old house was cracking and the drywall was cracking. Uh, and uh, we get regular, not, it's not as much as it used to be. They've changed the way that they, they, they do it now, that they drill. And it's uh, uh, seems to be a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Now I got my, I got my gun. Let me see. I forgot how to switch. Okay, well. And <laughs> stay away long enough. Stay alive long enough, Rambo. I hope Rambo's not... Uh, they're not uh, counting on me to bring back the POWs. Yeah, that was my plan, was just to run. I spent more time putting my name in than, uh, uh, than I did running as Rambo. I thought I was supposed to go in that building, but I can't remember. I haven't played this in, gosh, I'm, probably since I first got it. This is not a, a regular rotation for me. Although I do like that cool statue that uh, just keep running Rambo don't stop nobody has shot me but also I have not shot anybody oh I gotta go yeah I forgot I gotta go Doo -doo -doo -doo. gotta get in the POW camp over there Fortunately, Rambo's a pretty fast runner, so I just run away from everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a guy in a sniper tower. That was bad. I don't suppose I could go in there. No. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, well, there's some Rambo for you. It uh, adds a little bit of a uh, different angle to the Commando-style games. 
he keeps them. Did you not ever have a Rambo knife as a kid? The bottom unscrews where the uh, compass is and it's hollow and inside there there's another knife and then inside that knife uh, there's another knife and then inside that knife there's another knife and you can just keep doing that. I think that's how it works anyway. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you, we're going to go through this first one pretty quick. Uh, this is the original release of uh, Commando. This is the first one that I had uh, when I was a kid. This was like if someone said, oh, do you have Commando? This is the version they would think of. It's kind of like with the uh, Burger Time stuff. Like there's better releases. Uh your dad wouldn't let you have K bars, or is that like the ration ration things? Um, I never had the official Rambo knife, but I had a friend that had one, and uh, I remember marveling. It had all this stuff, like you would unscrew the compass, and it had uh, the little uh, uh, hey, hey, Curtis, what's going on? Uh, the little matches inside the Rambo knife, and the little you know. Uh, just all the little things and there was matches and I don't know, maybe flint. I think there's a little towel for drying things or something like that, you know. Um, I think we're going to do trailer and then we're just going to uh, turn off. You know what? Maybe I will keep unlimited lives. Just, hey, you know what? Let's just cheat our way through it. Uh, can't fall in holes in water? No, that's ridiculous. Switch off the collision? No, no. We'll restore high score. <clears throat> we're not gonna play uh, this one too long because we've got two more total or two more uh, titles to get through now if you hear this if you've played a Commodore game seen a cracking screen you, you've probably heard this uh, music that's been ripped this is one of the, one of the most famous tunes on the C64 it's been used over and over again. Um, and also they made this cool font that looks like uh, the arcade, the stencils, you know, the military kind of stencils and this font uh, gets used a lot of places too. I never really understood what they were trying to do with the logo, with it, you know, uh, with the black on the logo like that. It doesn't, doesn't look great. Uh... So the reason why I was telling that story about going to Washington, D.C. as a kid or whatever is because they took us to this mall where we got to have lunch or whatever. And uh, at the mall, they had Commando. And it was the first time I had ever seen the game. And so uh, I had my lunch money. And uh, I don't even I might not have even eaten. I might have just went right to the. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> there's a bad start. All right, let's re. Got to focus up here. There we go. And I believe this is a. Uh, so unlike Who Dares Wins, uh, this is a space bar for your grenades. Now, if you know the layout here, you got to run up this left hand side if we're going to save our prisoner. Oh no, I missed that guy. I missed the first guy. Dang it. Now this is always a little tough. You got to get through this. You got guys throwing grenades at you, the guys shooting up there. The easiest thing, wait for that guy to throw a grenade. That guy won't stop throwing them. That's what I should have went the other way. So we gotta get that dude, get those grenades. Just kind of run up the middle and shoot. Uh, sometimes you can launch a grenade. Clear that air. Oh, you can't can't go backwards at all. These guys, you can just kind of run through here at a frantic pace. Oh, there we go. Hit that dude. I always try to, not always, but a lot of times uh, before you use a grenade. Oh, rats. Uh, I look and see if there's grenades to be picked up. There's always that that sergeant or he's like a green beret dude Ugh. now you will possibly i won't say possibly you will uh see some slowdown uh when all these dudes start running out remember the commodore's got eight sprites 
uh, to deal with. And uh, when these dudes start running out here, you could kind of one thing you could kind of do if you get up here fast enough. It's kind of. Yep. Cut the track down. Ah! Oh! See why I turn on unlimited lives? That was good. That's a good idea. Did I turn on unlimited grenades too? I think I did. All right, watch this. <laughs> get that dude. All right. I'm gonna switch hands here. Yeah, we're gonna mow them down on their way out. No, no, no! Don't give me with no grenade. Let's see if this technique works. It worked. Oh, there's the jeep. You gotta watch out for those. Oh, watch out for the motorcycle. Oh, I can't run over my motorcycle. Um, definitely, if you you swap between uh, PAL and NTSC, PAL it's going to be a little bit slower. Um, NTSC, the version, I mean, the way I grew up playing it is a little faster, and there's also a little flicker. So again, we're not going to play this one too long because uh, I've got two more versions to show you. Come on. Oh, I just got to get past that hole. I didn't play this a lot as a kid. Um, I loved the arcade game. Um, I, one of the things I just liked the most about the arcade game is the way the graphics, it almost looked like they were like, uh, like 3D cutouts or something. You know what I mean? Like, they were just so detailed, the little people. And they have like a little shade, a uh, little shadow underneath them, you know? Uh, I just I just loved it, and so I did buy a Commando arcade game when I was buying and selling. All right, we're at the second. Let's see if I can do my technique again here. Nope, didn't get up there fast enough. You gotta, if you run up the middle here, you got those tank things that are shooting. They're not tanks. Oh, I forgot they're coming out of these too. Oh, I gotta get my finger by the. Uh, my finger by the uh, space bar. Uh, I only kept one arcade machine at the very end, and that was a uh, 60 and one, which is not. I mean, I would say it's a arcade machine, but I, I wouldn't call it a real, not an authentic, old school, dedicated uh, arcade game. Although it's in a uh, Williams cabinet. <sighs> Um, so Wizard says he's trying to, golly. Yeah, I love 720. So 720 and Commando, both of my machines, those machines, are at the uh, Arcadia Retrocade in Arkansas. So, and I have a lifetime, I'm about done with this, uh, a lifetime pass to go anytime I want to go play them, uh, and, uh, Instead of selling them to somebody that's going to flip them or convert them into something or whatever, uh, I thought that would be the, the best thing. Can I just stand up here? No. All right. <laughs> We're not getting through this, Sorty. Uh, yeah, it is uh, it is literally like a playground for grown-ups. You know, it is in the same uh, uh, strip mall where uh, it's in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It's in the same strip mall where the uh, Chuck E. Cheese, or not Chuck E. Cheese, the Showbiz Pizza was. Uh, when they were growing up. Um, passing uh, the retro torch is a tough sell, man, because, uh, um, you know, you have to have something that connects you to that retro, the nostalgia. And so if people don't have it, you know, it, it's easy like to say, um, well, I'm nostalgic for Star Wars because I grew up and loved Star Wars and all that stuff. And then you go, well, you know, He-Man. And then you go, nah, I didn't watch it. It was like, just wasn't my thing. So I, you know, I appreciate He-Man and I, you know, I just watched the new He-Man and uh, uh, I don't know if we can spoil the new He-Man yet. I don't know. It's, uh, it's still pretty new, but, um, uh, but yeah, my kids are nostalgic about, um, uh, you know, Pokemon Go and uh, 
and whatever that but they don't care about uh I had trouble starting this earlier. I did eventually get it to start. There we go. Different joystick port. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, I, I tried to um, get <laughs> tubular bells. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my kids like the Labyrinth a little bit, but they're not hooked on it anymore. I've told this to Steel Rat before, but I can't get my kids to watch a movie. I mean, they're not interested in sitting down and sitting still for, uh, you know, an hour and a half or whatever. All right, I believe it's F1. There we go. Now this is uh, a different release of Commando, but this is not the one uh, that I I played. I mean, I, I definitely saw this one. Uh, well, I don't seem to be doing a whole lot, do I? There we go. Um, so you can see it's kind of a... It's almost like a gauntlet, uh, you know, version, uh, gauntlet version of Commando, I suppose. You've got that kind of little soldier generator kind of thing there. And also, my favorite thing in the world, we got some money, money, money. And some shields. Which definitely I could use. Um, well, you know, Curtis, uh, as funny as it sounds, I tried that. Um, I had a, uh, uh, a, a, an experiment that I was going to do where, like, when my kids were uh, young, you know, I was only going to, like, for a year, just let them play Atari 2600 games, you know. Uh, and so I did some of that. I had them play, uh, you know, earlier systems and I had them play, um, uh, NES. I mean, but it didn't last very long because what happened was, um, are those spaceships that are getting me? That seems ridiculous. Um, what happened was like, there was a, you remember those plug and play joysticks? Everybody remembers those, uh, that they were all the rage. Uh, and there was one that was SpongeBob, you know, I mean, when they saw that, they were like, geez, what are we doing with our lives? Why are we playing this Atari crap? <laughs> we're playing SpongeBob. And, uh, you know, I mean, so when they were real young, I mean, all of a sudden they were into the, uh, uh, uh Lego Star Wars games and, um, uh, you know, different stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it just didn't last. So. Uh, I tried to get them, and I've tried to show them Commodore stuff. I've tried to show them all these things. Game over. But, um... <laughs> blob shot the food. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a weird uh, Commando meets... Uh, uh, but I, it does have... Um, and I don't have a second person here, or a second joystick, but... Uh, if I go here and hit F3... Rob, Jeff, and you can see now uh, that there are two people here. Hey, look, I finally get to shoot Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I ended the Eagle's Nest. I played that one night. Uh, that was a, a classic, um, more commando style than uh, this. But anyway, so this is the last one that we're going to play, and this is the newest release. Uh, this came out from a, uh, uh, I believe Antonio, um, and, uh, all those guys that have been the guys that did, um, wreck it Ralph and all those Activision, uh, translations, but yeah, you know, I mean, once you give a four-year-old kid a, uh, Nintendo DS or whatever, it's all over. They don't want your, your crappy, uh, uh, retro stuff it stinks. I wish they did. So this is uh, Commando 
and the actual name is called Commando uh, the Arcade version, or Commando Arcade, and then this is a special edition that came out as well. So, when you hit the space bar or whatever, you see there's a thing over here on the side that popped up that says start or documentation, uh, which is a cool thing. Hey, Texas Foosballer, what's going on, my friend? You're uh, coming in, we're winding down, but we've been trying some different uh, Commando clones on the Commodore 64, and now we are hitting uh, the last one, which is uh, Commando Arcade SE. So... Uh, you can tell already on that the graphics look uh, better than the uh, uh, some of the previous releases that we saw. And so this has been uh, completely redone to uh, replicate the arcade version. So we just played uh, a couple versions ago, the, uh, the one from uh, the early 80s. And so uh, let's see here. In my arm. Yeah. So here we've got our options hold. Fire for grenades, which is fine. The new graphics, yes. So you could go to the old graphics if you want, but they've redone all the graphics. Uh, invincibility, no. Uh, infinitive lives will do yes. I'm in a grenades. All right. Uh, we won't do level skip, and uh, now we're going to start a game. That's all right, man. You can hop in any time. If you want to go back and see the other ones, you can always go back on Twitch and watch it. Or I should say, uh, so my Wednesday night streams, this stream uh, always gets uploaded over to the Amigos Retro Gaming channel on YouTube. So you can go to YouTube uh, forward slash Amigos Retro Gaming and find these. But if I do other streams throughout the week or whatever, they're now going over to youtube.com forward slash Sprite Castle. And uh, video versions of my podcast will also be on youtube.com forward slash Sprite Castle. So, um, uh, and I believe I have about 125 subscribers and I need a thousand <laughs> before I can start running ads. So call all your family members. Everybody go to youtube.com forward slash Sprite Castle. Or if you don't want to subscribe, just send me money, money, money. <laughs> Like the money that appeared in the last uh, game. All right, here we go. Uh, also, uh, you can see that it's set right now to music and sound effects, which is something that we didn't have. There's the helicopter, which wasn't in the, uh, the first one. Little, I heard some slowdown in the music there. It's always tough to tell... All right, there's my dude. Come on now. One, two, got him. Hey! Oh, boy. Oh. I was trying to... I was trying to hit that dude with a grenade. Come on. I used to be so good at games. Some games. I used to be so good at some games. I'm trying to dodge that. I don't know why I keep going over to get those when I've got unlimited grenades. Alright. So the key is to get him to throw grenades that way. There we go. Oh, don't die right there, cause then, oh. All right, I have to go back through the tunnel. The diagonal is not particularly easy to do on this FX joystick. Oh, watch out for that grenade. I wanted to go to my spot. Oh, you got through. Well, it starts off with about 20 guys there, too. Oh, by the way, uh, Steel Rat, I broke the uh, Arduino thing. 
Uh, remember I put it all, I crammed it all back in the project box and now it doesn't work. Um, and it's not that the buttons don't work, it's that it doesn't, Windows doesn't recognize it as a USB device. You know what I haven't tried? I haven't tried, um, I'll, I'll try switching it back over to the, um, okay, come on. Anybody else comes out and gets lead for breakfast. Come on, everybody. Oh, that guy, guy. Maybe if I stand a little bit further to the side. That's why I can't have nice stuff. Do their bullets go forever? No. Okay. Oh, I tried to dodge. I tried to move. Okay, I got a new plan. <laughs> oh, uh, Super, I'm using the uh, Epix 500 XJ, uh, aka the best joystick ever made in the history of the universe. I ran up to get that bullet. I was like, oh. Hold on, that bullet's gonna miss my face. I better go catch it with my jaw. I have uh, about four of these joysticks open in rotation, and then I have uh, four of them brand new in boxes on the shelf. I have a lifetime supply. Uh, although, I'm about to break one of them on this stupid game. You know, I've never thrown a joystick. I've never broken a joystick, like, intentionally. I was, uh... I never... I, never, uh, I don't have anybody to replace joysticks if I broke them, so... Maybe I should have put on that invincibility. I'm rethinking that thought now. All right, as long as that guy don't shoot me, we're gonna try this plan. And well, that guy's gonna eventually shoot me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the uh, two button one is cool. Is that just for the uh, NES or is that for, um, I'm not sure what you can use it. Um, oh no. You bought one that gave up the ghost wizard? That's it could probably be fixed though. They've got um uh micro switches inside. Uh, I tried to grenade him, but it was too late. We're gonna do this kind of systematically. Oh golly. I <laughs> just dumped for the Jeep. Uh, oh, the Sega one is the is the two button one. That's cool. Alright, let's try this technique. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Run! Run, Jesse! Run like the wind. Don't stop. Don't stop for nothing. Run, Charlie. If I didn't get past the uh, second level on the other one, I ain't getting past it on this one, I can tell you that. This one's hard because they come out of the sides and the backs, the fronts. Ugh. I could use some rapid fire right about now. Oh. Jeff, come beat this level for me. Yeah, this is a great, uh, great version. They really cleaned up a lot of stuff.
Boy, it's tough. killed me. My victims are shooting me in the face with grenades and bullets over and over and over. unbelievable that was so awesome oh no oh the bed <laughs> oh I'm falling in the hole you stupid head <laughs> did it twice in a row I was like what killed me Fingers starting to hurt from shooting so much. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting underneath a, a motorcycle. Have you seen our tiny trucks, Larry? Oh, uh, well. So you have a good name. I don't know. It's hard to hit the one when there's a second one. Right under the motorcycle. Uh, I was definitely uh, probably a second or, or third uh, level guy uh, back in the day. I bet I could probably. Oh, look. Can you not shoot that dude? I guess you got to grenade him. that right distance and just long enough where he can't hit you oh <laughs> I guess they can throw grenades over there all right we're gonna beat this You need a grenade sandwich, buddy. Oh, 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 man. Dang. I mean, the easiest way is just run up here and grenade this dude. Now my leg hurts from punching it. Hi, buddy. This is tough, man. I definitely could not uh, get this far uh, today. Alright, here's a different plan. If I can... can't even get these guys killed right now. Okay. 
Man, there's so many guys. I'll beat the game for a thousand bits. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, let's try this one more time here. Well, a couple more times, probably. So if I can kill that guy, where are they coming from? Just in the sides? Okay, so that guy's gone. Okay. I was trying to go down! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh I've not had it with this. Man. Yeah, my reflexes are not what they used to be, that is for sure. They're not even close. My reflexes aren't what they used to be last week, seems like. Alright, that's it. Uh, uh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. My trigger finger, man, done triggered. Oh, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. I spent, uh, I could probably get to the third level on the uh, arcade version that I owned, uh, but uh, that, uh, that Commodore version was something else. That uh, arcade one, it looks pretty good though, especially compared to some of those uh, earlier releases. So thank you, Texas Foosballer, and thank all of you guys uh for showing up we'll see who's uh, made it here to the end there's eric einstein a 10 mr awkward aardvark what's going on my friend chris albright commander root all right wizard i want you to tell me one last time how to say your name uh in reverse um we got dwight shroop we got fold l curtis b is in the his house Lord Soup, Mr. Midas, the man with the golden touch. I could have used some golden touch on those bullets. Ricky DeRocher, Splayfeet, Steel Rat. Oh, not Steel Rat 0405. Was it 0405? I don't know. There's, a lot, there's crazy stuff going on. Steve Burtz. Draw Zoo. All right. I'm going to write it down. Draw Zoo. I'm going to figure that out. The thing is, is that when I see it, my brain immensely, er, immediately reverses wizard, and then I try to say wizard backwards, which is drizzle. <laughs> but draw zoo. Draw zoo, I can remember. Uh, let's see. Steve Burtz, if I didn't shout you out, 1010 Texas Foosballer, Tinsel Towns. I wonder if that's Tinsel Town Movie Theater. Maybe give me some Tinsel Town tickets to go watch uh commando i wonder if there'd be a new commando movie probably not i think is arnold done i don't know is arnold schwarzenegger doing anything else or is he uh is that it is he gonna come back for hopefully let's don't come back for another he already came back for another terminator movie don't come back for another commando movie the wide world of retro who I did not, he also, uh, Wide World of Retro also streamed uh, during the Amigathon, and I need to go watch your stream because I uh, instead did about 10 shots during my stream with uh, Steel Rat, and then uh, eventually we, uh, we went on the back porch and chatted, and then I passed out. It was a good time. Uh, we got Z9K9 in the house, who is the best person in all these people at video games that could easily beat Commando with one hand. And Z -Z 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 Zerfall in the house, the winner of the Commodore 64 Wi Fi modem. And uh, so hopefully uh, you will uh, uh, get that. So. A new Conan movie. Holy camoly. I don't know if I would, yeah, I guess I'd watch it. Those old Conan movies are pretty good. I did not watch the remake. Was the remake any good? The Conan remake? I don't know. I'm always, uh, I don't know. They're, they're remakes. What was wrong with the originals? Nothing. When they remake old Commodore games, I think, what was wrong with the original? Nothing. They were wonderful. 
Uh, Zen 9 is a cyborg from the future. I, I, if he was a cyborg, that would not surprise me. That guy is a score scoring machine. Uh, old man, uh, <laughs> don't give away your secrets, huh? So anyway, uh, I hope everybody uh, had a good time. I hope you're having a good week so far. We're only a day away, one day, and then Friday, so we're practically almost uh, to the weekend. So we've got um, here, and we're going to be in the high 90s, pushing 100 degrees, and then our first uh, relief is Sunday. It's only going to be like 88 or something. So um, hope everybody has uh, a good rest of the week. Uh, go check out uh, Amigos retro gaming uh, on youtube and go uh, i uploaded a bunch of my older plays videos on youtube.com sprite castle so go there and subscribe and get me a million subscribers um oh texas well yeah obviously you live in texas well I, me and and uh, steel rat we're in oklahoma so um uh we're not we're not too far we're enjoying the heat as well so guys thank you all for dropping in and i will be talking and seeing you all shortly Bye.